With the advancement in storage devices, CDs and CD players have become obsolete. Almost no one uses them now and they are going to be completely vanished in upcoming years. But CDs have played a major role in development of storage devices. So how does a CD actually work? CD is a type of optical storage device. It is made up of polycarbonate material covered with a thin layer of aluminium for reflection. Data on CD is stored in form of bumps and flats representing 0 and 1 with millions of these lines arranged spirally. This data is read by the CD player to produce audio or video as the output. And how CD player is doing that? Let's dive in deep. First, let's open the DVD player and see the mechanism which is producing the audio and video from a plastic disc. Once we open the case, at the center, the actual CD drive is placed which rotates a CD at high speeds closer to 500 RPM. Then there is other complex circuitry consisting of lots of capacitors, resistors and diodes. But we are mainly concerned with the processing unit. When we press open button, a holder comes out and CD is placed inside of it. And after closing the CD drive, a motor starts rotating the CD as you can see. If we open the CD drive itself, we will mainly see that there are three motors. One motor is used for opening and closing the drive, one is for rotating the CD and third motor is for moving the laser assembly. Yes, a laser is used for reading the flats and bumps on the CD. Laser falls on the CD surface and starts reading whether there is a bump or a flat. If there is a flat, it reflects back the light beam and it is detected by a photocell. And pulse of electricity is sent to the processing unit. This is accounted as 1. And if there is a bump, it scatters the light and 0 is registered. You can see a flat wire going from CD drive to the processing unit. This carries the data after reading by the laser. Then a microprocessor processes the data and according to it, we get audio or video as the output. And that is how CDs work. But why are CDs getting extinct? Amount of data that can be stored on optical disc is limited. Currently, Blu-ray discs store the maximum amount of data that is almost 25 GB. Instead of that, if we take magnetic storage, memory cards of 1 TB capacity have been already developed and that's a drastic difference. CD needs to be read optically so the involvement of moving parts is unavoidable. So it makes the data storage read write speed quite slow. While on the other side, if we take solid state drives or flash drives, they are lightning fast and really small in size. CDs and DVDs were primarily used for storing music and movies, which you can get now with a single click from internet. And you don't even need the CDs. You can directly stream music or movies with high speed internet. And these are some of the reasons why you will not see CD players in some years. And that's all for today's video. I have made another video in Tech Explained series. Make sure to check that out. If you find this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this one and I will catch you in the next one.